told you I'd be back. This is Trin over here at Trin Gaming slash Trin TV, and we're gonna have ourselves some more fun playing some Final Fantasy XIV, doing some more storyline. Oh, it's you! Welcome back, Shizuka. You're looking remarkably hale, I must say, and more importantly, alive. You are alive, aren't you? Aha! The conquering hero returns bearing a gift. Might I have a closer look? Impressive, very impressive indeed. Yes, I think you'll be quite pleased with this specimen. Congratulations, Shizuka. Seldom, if ever, have I encountered a corrupted crystal composed of such a volatile overabundance of fire-aspected aether. What? You wanted a corrupted crystal composed of ice-aspected aether to counteract the effects of a raging wind? <laughs> well, this specimen won't help you there. Anyone who knows anything about the elements could tell you that. You'll just have to keep looking, I suppose. God, fuck. Don't fret now. I know exactly where to find a corrupted crystal comprised of ice aspect of Aether. An associate of mine in Gridania has been studying the effects of one such crystal on living beings. Hey? Eh? What's with that expression? I thought you would be pleased to hear this news. This is not another wild dodo chase, I assure you. And what's even better is that this time you needn't use the warded pod of yours to protect yourself from this crystal's energies. Hayden's findings suggest that it is quite safe. Why, you ask? Well, let's just say that it has undergone a unique process that has rendered such precautions unnecessary. Anyway, do not let me keep you. It has been a pleasure, Shizuka. Come back and see me sometime, all right? This fucking goose chase. First, they send me to get a wind crystal. Then, they send me to get a fire crystal. Now, finally, we're gonna get an ice crystal. And hopefully, that's all we need to do. Oh. Besides go to old Gridania, and this guy will probably be like, Oh, go do this for me, and then we'll be fucked, because we'll just have more shit to do. Oh, and by the way, the crystal we were looking for all along was in the same place we are leaving our airship. My god. Go all across the world. Or at least Eorzea. All across Eorzea. To come back where we started to find the crystal we need. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, our luck's not going to be like that. It's just not going to be here. It's not going to be here at all. Watch. Greetings and salutations, Miss Arashi, I presume? Sienna informed me of your adventures in Aleport. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Though, as Professor Lambertaint is fond of saying, no action taken in the name of science is ever truly wasteful. To the matter at hand, corrupted crystals possessing the properties you seek could be found in abundance at the standing courses following the calamity. Ooh. Alas, this is no longer the case, and while there is at least one suitable crystal that remains to be found within the Twelveswood, precisely where it is at any given moment is more difficult to say. Permit me to explain. You are familiar with Spriggans, yes? The furry little rascals that are wont to seek our ores and other stones. Well, one such creature with an infamously insatiable appetite has single-handedly devoured every corrupted crystal in the Twelveswood. Fortunately for you, these crystals are taking eternity to digest, assuming they can even be digested, and I am reasonably confident that one still resides within his gut. It's quite fascinating, really. My theory is that this diggity first consumed a corrupted crystal when... Oh, you couldn't care less about all this, could you? To the point, then. Giggity has grown so ravenous that even his fellow Spriggans now fear for their safety. Some have gone so far as to petition the other inhabitants of the Twelveswood for succor. In fact, the other day I heard that a Spriggan had been spotted in the vicinity of Little Solace. I propose that you find this wayward creature and use him to track down and slay Giggity. I can think of no better method to locate the rampaging beast, can you? Alright, so we're going to the Hawthorne Hut.
Okay. This is kind of annoying. I was hoping the bro would just, um, you know, give me the crystal. But then I don't know why I just assumed that that would be what happened. So. Whatever. Whatever, love. This one is pleased to see walking one. Has time come for this one to wreak various vengeance upon Imperial ones? Oh, so Walking One seeks Furry Ones. This one just saw Furry One wandering about. Was very worried for Furry One. Worried for Furry One's safety. Furry One came to Little Solace in search of helpful ones. Asked these ones for aid and succor. But these ones could not do what Furry One asked. So Furry One went elsewhere. Went north into Lark's Call. This one tried to warn Furry One, but Furry One would not listen. Many vile ones lurked to the north, and touched ones too. Oh, I have to go over there. Yeah, I remember this now. Okay, well... Let's do it. I'm also becoming a little sad because I'm wondering how many more Quests until what do you call it? I'm wondering how many more quests until I have to like get to level 44 before I can do any more quests. You know what I mean? So it might be grinding time soon. Unfortunately. God damn it. If I have to fight that thing again. Good. Tiggy great self. Self bad self. Friend save Tiggy. Friend, Tiggy, go back. Back to good self. You do that, Tiggy. You do that. So now I wonder. Do we just have the magical powers to, exp to, to understand these things? Or do all these monsters and stuff like that and beastmen know... Um, whatever the common language is. Walking One is ever most helpful one. Furry One Tiggy spoke highly of Walking One's bravery, but this one wonders why Walking One first sought to find Furry One. Walking One seeks Furry One Giggity? Even these ones have heard tell of Hungry One. Furry One Tiggy asked these ones to hunt Hungry One, but these ones have no means to do so. Furry ones crave wars, yes? But Hungry One is clever, clever and cautious. If Walking One wishes to catch Hungry One, Walking One must use very rare, very special ore. This one knows little and less of ore, but Walking One Merowin at Sanctum of Twelve knows much. Walking One should seek aid of Goldsmithing One. Right, well, going all the way up there.
should be interesting. But if we can get a special ore to go find Giggity, summon Giggity, kill Giggity, then guess what? We'll probably be very, very close, if not able to fight Garuda. I'm also hoping that I don't have to be 44 to do any of these quests, because that will make me sad. Though I am halfway, almost halfway I should say, to the required level. So it's actually not that bad. To the Sanctum of the Twelve. Yes, what is it? Ah, so you wish to lure out the rampaging Spriggan with a rare ore. Hmm, I have an idea, although it is a bit unorthodox and convoluted. Thanks, I love unorthodox and convoluted. A chert golem was recently sighted near the gates to the Silphlands. Who created it and why it was left free to roam is anyone's guess. And in any case, the construct's presence is profoundly serendipitous. For the soul stone of a shirt golem is created by enchanting a chunk of true heart ore. True heart, in case you were unaware, is an exceedingly rare ore, one which Giggity has almost certainly never tasted, and will therefore be unable to resist. So all you need to do is search for the golem, slay it, claim its heart, and use it to bait the spriggan. Oh, and do remember to rub the soul stone against a sufficiently large concentration of amber, say amber scale rock in the central shroud? Short of petitioning a mage versed in golem magics, that is the only way I know to dispel the enchantments woven into a true heart. Why are you looking at me like that? I had relations with a thaumaturge once, if you must know. That booty call! Alright, so, we have to go over here. Kill the golem, get the heart. Which is always a fun thing to do. I remember the first time I did this quest, I was like, how do I get down to this road? It took me like 10 minutes, and I was like, oh, now I know. I'll do that one later. Oh, they're level 23s. They're not gonna find me. Or they're not gonna chase me, I mean. Sorry. Find me. Duh. sneaky I mean technically I should be fighting all of these mobs but this is what happens when you play something that can sneak you sneak more than you fight so sorry but it's all right I still have to go to this destination and summon this thing I guess and fight it 
which means I'm gonna have to beat up one of these monsters. Which is somewhat annoying, but whatever. My life. Welcome to me being dumb. Great. That happened. I recovered though. I do know that it's quite annoying. There we go. Now where do I have to go? Central Shroud? Where? Over there, so Bent Branch Meadows. All right. I will do that because I do not want to run over there. <laughs> There'll be enough running as is. Huh, <sighs> okay. Go up and over. Oh, I have to go up that big fucking tree. Yep. We're gonna go up the tree and over to the place we need to go. We can do it. Oh, it's seven more levels. I remember doing this grind the first time, and I was like, seven more levels! We're gonna do it! It's gonna be awesome! I'm gonna be a level max! It's gonna be awesome! It's gonna be awesome again! Then I'm gonna have to, I mean like, it sucks cause like I still have 10 more levels to go. Cause I'm not max level anymore. You know, at 50? It's really like 17. Shiny ore, or 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 ticket or ah giggity or friend stop giggity 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 what what oh that just happened giggity is home tiggy is afraid friend come home friend stop giggity that that happened.
All right, to the north. I have to go over and around. This sucks. But yeah, I have what, 17 levels to go? And then I will be maximum level. So, it's interesting because going through the main, going through the main story quest, as a healer, you know, it was super slow. Along with the increased XP, because they're, de they're definitely giving a ton more XP than they used to. True Heart. Come over here. Shit. Cool. Back to New Gridania. To get ourselves a blue crystal. I mean an ice crystal. <laughs> so yeah. I guess... What color of the water crystal? Is there a water crystal? There gots to be. There gots to be. Because I can talk to her if I want. <sighs> I'm just happy that... We're all done with this crystal. Well, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure that we're all done with this crystal business. Because if I'm not, I'd be upset. Ah, pray do not sneak up on me like that. I was engrossed in. Wait, what is that? What is that god's awful smell? My word! That is a breathtakingly beautiful crystal. I see my supposition was not mistaken. Oh, and I also see you weren't adverse to digging through Spriggan and trails for your prize. We owe our furry friend a debt of gratitude, you know. This thick coating of digestive juices is protecting us from the harmful effects of the crystal, just as the warded pot you once used did. Why so glum, friend? You finally obtained the corrupted crystal you sought, one overflowing with Earth-aspected aether. Calm down, I jest, I jest. It is comprised of ice aspected aether. Worry not, I suppose that joke was in poor taste, considering your previous two attempts were for naught. That's right, I would about to punch the shit out you. 
Beg your pardon, Shizuka. I forgot to return your crystal to you. Oh, and there was a message for you from Professor Lambertaint. Something about a man named Marquez. Apparently, the professor misses the intellectual stimulation. Forgive me, I should have written it down. It occurs to me that I have yet to ask you why you need the crystal. You weren't planning anything nefarious, are you? It would reflect poorly on me and my research if it was used for evil ends. Ah, oh, well, perhaps it's best I remain ignorant. I didn't become the professor's greatest pupil by filling my head with unnecessary information. Alright, we're gonna go talk to Sid and we're gonna get some storyline shit on but nobody open up something we like to call the eye. Cause that means we'll be able to do Garuda. I don't know. Greetings, madame. Do you wish to proceed to your vessel? I do. I... I do. Because Sid waits for us. All repairs and modifications have been completed, Shizuka. Once you bring me the crystal, nothing will stand between us and Garuda. I'll need to run some tests to be sure, but this looks to be exactly what we need. Worry not, Shizuka. I'll see that your hard work doesn't go to waste. The Enterprise is already more than a common airship, but mark my words, soon it will become something greater, something extraordinary! This, this is me. This is what I was born to do. Ooh. A belt? A belt? No. A bring? No. Money! Yes. When I look at her, I feel as though I've come home. I can think of no other way to express it. According to my test, the device is now functioning in perfect harmony with the crystal, meaning we can leave whenever you're ready. But you must understand, tests can only tell one so much. Until we approach the Howling Eye, until we attempt to breach the barrier itself, I cannot be sure that this would work. I think it only fair to tell you that there is a small but statistically significant chance that the crystal could trigger a massive, hmm, may happen is better, we remain positive. Shizuka, I want to thank you for reuniting me with the ship, for trusting in me to develop this plan, for everything. You've helped me to rediscover a part of myself I'd forgotten. I am not the man I once was, and I do not know if I ever shall be, but I do know one thing. This feels right. My apologies for the sudden outpouring of sentiment. I would have waited until after the mission, but, well, you understand. Oh, I have to be 44! Damn it! Welp, we're going to end it here so I can do some grinding because I have to be level 44. Double thumbs up. So this trend, we'll see you next time when we go and fight Garuda. Bye.